That's it. I'm here at the Prima booth and I have a demo with Danny. He's going to show you some of the redesigned stuff from Prima. So look what he has a stencil on. And he's going to start using the chalk paste. So he's applying it with a silicone brush. And what color is that paste, Danny? Chalky white. Chalky white. And it's like a damask kind of stencil, right? Mm-hmm. And I think he's applying it on a piece of plywood. Yeah, so to speak. Which, yeah, that it has been coated with just. Yeah. Yeah. With mediums? No. So he's just covering the whole Another system. trick too, so if you're doing it like vertically on a wall, they sell um, spray adhesive. You can spray the back of it, which is movable and it's tacky, so you can actually adhere it to the wall and it, it seals all the edges so it doesn't seep. I have a heavy hand, so I tend to push everything. And it goes everywhere. So what this is doing, I'm just laying down the base layer. Is that a painter's tape that you used around to hold the stencil? Uh, it is painter's tape. That's just to hold it in place. Yeah. Okay. Do you sell silicone brushes? Yes, they're the These best. These are ours, yes. They come in two sizes and they're really, really amazing. The silicone brushes are top I don't seller. like getting dirty. So we have the scraper, but I use the brush. <laughs> Yeah. I ordered a scraper, so I'm like, dang, I should have got this You should get these, yes. I think this scraper you can use afterwards to just give it an even coat, while this is more, it's easy to apply from, a to from the top. Okay. So you could just leave it white, depending on whatever your background is or whatever you're trying to achieve, to give it. But I'm going to kind of do a, um, a variegated look like that. <coughs> Don't be perfect. It's basically just running it. So you're doing it randomly? Mm-hmm. Yeah, distress. That's so it'll take on the color just wherever I put it. And it's best to do it with at least three colors. Oh, wow. Oh. I think it creates more shade, right? Like that's basically it's like a 3D. Very cool. Uh, these do, do these dry true to color? Yes. Yes. He's used a blue, a chalky blue, and a chalky pink, and the white. So you working on the Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cool. I think they need dirty. <laughs> He's actually making a board like yes. this. So you can see on the wall, he's making one like that. How beautiful is that? Now you're just removing the tape.
How long does it take to dry, Danny? More or less? Uh, probably about a half hour. Naturally. Naturally. Could you, could you heat set it? You could. I, I, I don't like to heat set because I, I feel that it misshapes it. Oh, okay. So. Does it cause it to crack? Pardon? Does it cause it to crack? No, it doesn't cause it to crack, no. Okay. Mm -hmm. You could, you could go through with uh, more of our crackle mediums and put that on first. Do your first layer, then do the crackle medium, and then do your colors over it. Okay. So then, then when it cracks, you have that base color showing through. Okay. So I guess you have to wait until this dries to add the next layer. No, I can, no? I can move around. Oh, okay, good. Yeah. I want to see. I put the transfers. So you hit that color, that one, and so I do the, the chalky white first, okay, the so that gives me that shadow. Yes. And then I went back in with the Bucks and Blue. Bucks and Blue. Brilliant. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then went back in with that. So it gives it the variegated look. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> It'll be raised. It's kind of eighties colors. <laughs> oh, they're beautiful. <laughs> And then like <clears throat> the the writing. Yeah. <clears throat> Anywhere it's great for backgrounds. Yeah. To fill a void. <clears throat> Did you order any of the the silk screen ones? I did. No. Um, I've used Chalk Couture's silk screen. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Danny. Several of those. Hi. You're welcome. Okay. 